I did not know that they were going to vote on it today. Miranda Hubert surprised by the email she got Monday morning. I agree with it, yes. An email stating the Colonial Heights School Board had voted to make masks optional for students. I do think that the parents should have the option of if their child wears a mask or not. In a special meeting, the Colonial Heights School Board takes a vote. Making masks optional in our schools um, uh, effective February the 17th. The reason behind the change. What changed for us was, uh, you know, we've been watching the numbers currently in the city. There's only three positive cases reported. Um, our numbers are going down dramatically. For parents who don't want to change. If you want your child to wear a mask, I think that you, your, your child, you know, should come with a mask on. While the mask optional policy takes effect on Thursday, there are exceptions. Masks still have to be worn um, on buses. That's a federal mandate and we can't change that. And teachers, staff and visitors for the time being oh, yeah. will still have to mask up right. inside Colonial Heights school buildings. We're going to give two weeks for adults uh, before we um, allow an optional piece for adults. As for Miranda's daughter. When my daughter gets home, I'm going to ask her if she wants to wear her mask at school or if she doesn't and let her, you know, let her pick. The superintendent tells me other school districts he contacted that had made mask optional, he says, saw their positive numbers go down. He also says he understands some students will continue to wear their mask indoors.